Hi my food day friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to um, show all of my Hakuhodo goat blue squirrel mix bristled brushes, also known as the salt and pepper Hakuhodo brushes. These brushes are some of my favorite in my collection. Um, they really are truly amazing and I just wanted to just go over their dimensions, some of my favorite uses for each brush, and I hope you guys find it helpful. So we'll start with this brush here, which is the F6141. And this is 20 millimeters in length. And I have shown this brush on my channel before, actually in my last refer video. So this brush is truly one of my all time favorite brushes for highlight. It's the perfect size. I really like a nice targeted highlight, but what's great about the goat squirrel mix is you get the resiliency of goat, but you also get that beautiful airbrush effect to the skin from the squirrel. So this mix is just truly unmatched and I just adore these brushes. And I actually put a clear coating over my Hakuhodo brushes. It's actually a nail polish that I will try to find. I know I got it from Amazon. I know it's called the something vinyl nail polish. I'll make sure if I remember to link it down below. It really does a great job um, preserving my Hakuhodo engravings. And from afar, you can't even tell. And it's lasted quite a while so it does a really good job preserving because unfortunately over time as careful as you are with these brushes the logos tend to wear off you can see with um, one of my older ones it already wore off before I could put the polish on it so it's something to note when you're collecting Hakuhodo brushes it is worth getting some type of top coat to put over and preserve the Hakuhodo logos the next brush I have here is the G5522. So this is an eye blending brush. Some of the Hakuhodo brushes, their older inventory does not have the numbering on them, which is kind of a bummer. I like to have the numbering on them, especially when I'm doing videos or posting on Instagram. But nevertheless, this is 21 millimeters in length. And I brought out a couple brushes to compare it with. So this is the Wayne Goss 16. And you can see very similar in length, if not pretty identical. And then this is the Wayne Goss 17. So this one is smaller. Yeah, definitely smaller. I'll actually put them all side by side. I would say the Wayne Goss 16 is probably closer. Maybe. The Wayne Goss is thicker and the Hakuhodo is more tapered. And then I also brought out my Refer 16 which is pretty much identical to the Wayne Goss 16. And then the other comparison, just wanted to bring out is my natural version of my Tom Ford 13, just to get a um, size visual for the Hakuhodo. So yeah, I would definitely say it's closest to my refer 16 and Wayne Goss 17 or Wayne Goss 16 I'm sorry so yeah just figured I'd compare it I do know Hakuhodo brought out more of their goat squirrel blended brushes um, which they look beautiful I'm really intrigued by some of them and I've seen some posts on Instagram already of those brushes and I'm really, really interested and I'd love to add more of these to my collection because they are really beautiful. Especially with this one, the um, 5522. It is a little big for my liking because I do have small eyes, but because it's the goat squirrel blend, 
I would say it's really not, I don't mind using it, even though it's bigger, especially for like a quick shade in the crease. You know, obviously you can't do detail work with it, but with that taper, it does make it easier. It's definitely, I would say, it has more of a taper than the other brushes I showed. So it does make it useful since it's a bigger blender. And I would definitely like to get more eye, br eye brushes from this blend because this is the only eye brush I have out of this blend from Hakuhodo. And then the next brush I have is the B5521. So this is in their champagne handle, which in person, these champagne handles are absolutely gorgeous the way they glimmer. Beautiful. And one thing to note too, um, oh, and before I forget, this is 32 millimeters in length. Um, but one thing to note is Hakuhodo actually got rid of labeling their B series with a B. So this is now actually known as the G5521. So a lot of my brushes in this video, you're gonna see labeled as B, but they've actually gotten rid of the B series. So their newer inventory will have G instead of the B. So that's something to note. But this is a wonderful brush for highlight, of course. Under eye powder, it is really nice for under eye powder. In fact, that is definitely, um, I would say that's my favorite use with this brush. Very soft has beautiful movement to the bristles. I really enjoy this brush for highlight and under eye powder. And again, because you've got the goat and the blue squirrel mix, it really gives a beautiful airbrush finish. It doesn't pick up too much highlight, so if you like a nice natural highlight, this brush is beautiful for that. Or if you want a nice under eye setting brush, beautiful for that as well. I just love the way that those champagne handles glimmer. They're so beautiful. And then this next brush here is the G6530. And this is 40 millimeters in length. And I have not used this brush, brush as much as I'd like to admit, um, but I have used it for blush. So it is a really nice blush brush. And I do feel, and I'm gonna actually try this next time I use it, if you don't like heavy powder application under your eyes, which I do not, especially now that I'm in my 30s, um, this would be great for under eye powder too because it's not so targeted like the 5521. And here is it next to the 5521 just so you can see the size difference. So it is quite quite a bit larger than the 5521. But yeah, I've used it for blush so far and I've really liked it for that. And normally it actually flares out even more, but I have kept this in a brush guard. And then the next brush we have is the B507, which again is now known as the G507. And this one I've also gotten in the champagne handle. This is 46 millimeters in length. And I just love that champagne handle. So elegant and just beautiful. And I've also kept this in a brush guard. So if you see other videos of it, normally it is a little bit wider when it's not kept in a brush guard. But I've noticed some of these tend to get a little unruly, so to speak. So I do prefer to keep some of my Hakuhodo brushes in a brush guard, but this is beautiful with blush. Um, you could definitely use it for targeting powder if you only wanna powder certain areas of your face. Really nice. And it's got that beautiful diamond taper. And it's got perfect density. It's not too dense. So if you're somebody that likes just a wash of blush, I feel like this brush is really nice for that because you can see at the ferrule, it's not as thick, but yet it still has really nice density. It's like that perfect in between. 
And then the next brush is the G501. So this brush is 44 millimeters in length. And this one also has that beautiful diamond taper as well. And this is a really dense brush. So if you're somebody that likes a really dense brush for powder application, blush, bronzer, this is your brush. It is really, really thick and dense. And you can see the 507 next to it. This is how much more dense the 501 is. You can really see at the ferrule how thick that is compared to the 507. And um, later on, I'm actually gonna compare one brush to this because it's almost like a mini version of it. So I'll get to that in a bit, but. And then the next one we have here is the G502. This is also 44 millimeters in length. And it is not necessary to have the 501 and the 502 because I'm a collector, I just wanted to have both. But you can see there's not a massive difference and the 501 is quite a bit more pricey than the 502. So if I was recommending to my friends or somebody just starting out and they asked which one, I would say go with the 502 because it's the same exact millimeters as the 501, but it's not as dense as the 501. However, it still has a lot of bristles packed in, but I really like the movement that the 502 has. It really does have just enough bristles packed in, but it's not too dense. So you're gonna really get a really nice airbrushed effect. And I'm not saying the 501 is a bad brush. I do not regret it. It's just more dense which would be good for picking up harder pressed products for sure. So, I mean, they're just very, very similar, but for the price difference, I would get the 502. But they are both really equally beautiful. <laughs> but if I had to recommend again, 502 for sure, just because of that price difference. And I actually find myself reaching for the 502 a little bit more than I do the 501. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And again, everything is preference. So some people may like denser brushes, some may like medium density. So if you like denser, I would get the 501. If you like medium density, 502 is definitely the way to go. And then we've got the F1342. And this one is 36 millimeters in length. And I have showed this on my channel before. I really like this brush with bronzer. Really nice bronzer brush. Um, and normally I'm not a huge fan of fan brushes for my cheek products anymore. I used to love them with Sonia G's older fan brushes, but I found myself kind of not reaching for them as much anymore, but this is a really nice brush and it's just very luxurious. And mine has been kept in a brush cart, so it's got a few floaters there, but yeah, and I've definitely spoken about this brush highly on my channel before, so. And then the next one we have is the G6413. Now this brush is 40 millimeters in length and Hakuhodo advertises it as a powder brush. Very dense. This brush is very, very dense and you can see how thick it is on the side. This one has also been kept in a brush guard so normally it flares out just a little bit. It's got that really nice square shape to it my hopes when I got this brush was to be able to use it with bronzer and powder, but I do feel like I prefer it with powder just because it's so thick. It is really thick, but it's beautiful and it feels so luxurious on the skin. If you have harder pressed um, powders that you use, powder foundation, really, really nice. And then the next one we have is the G6403. And this is 40 millimeters in length, 
also advertised as a powder brush. And this is actually um, a mix of a very small amount of synthetic blue squirrel and goat. But to be honest, there must be such a small, tiny amount of synthetic in here because I can't even tell the difference when I put it on my skin compared with my other all goat and squirrel blended Hakuhoto brushes, I don't feel a difference. So I've used this brush with my Dior Backstage Powder, which is really, really hard pressed. It picks it up very, very nicely. Um, but the next one I'm gonna talk about, I actually prefer it if I had to pick. So this is the G6430. This has not been kept in a brush guard. So you can see how it definitely flares out more than my 6403 because this was in a brush guard, this was not. So normally this looks exactly like this, only it is um, a little bit longer, obviously, in hair length. But if I was a person looking to purchase either one of these Hakuhoto brushes, I would definitely recommend you just go for the 6430 just because I really love this brush personally. Um, I've also used this one with my Dior Backstage Powder and I just love the way it picks it up, I really do. I forgot to look at the price difference of these two, but getting it without the synthetic, and I personally prefer 35 millimeters in this length if I'm trying to pick up harder pressed powder products. I just feel like it picks it up beautifully. Not saying that the 64, 03 doesn't because this picks it up just as well um but if i had to choose this brush is just beautiful it's like that gorgeous pom-pom shape i just love it i remember when i first got the 6430 i couldn't put it down i was using it all the time and i'm like all right i gotta rotate my brushes use something different i was obsessed <laughs> it just gives that perfect airbrush finish and you know what I can do actually while I have this next to me? So this is the Sonia G Master Face. So here's the 6430 next to Master Face. And before I got the Hakuhoto, this is what I used with the Dior Backstage Powder. Was the Master Face. But personally, I prefer the finish of the 6430. Because for some reason that goat squirrel blend mix really just gives that airbrush finish. It smooths over my pores just so beautifully. Never looks cakey. Not saying Master Face makes it look cakey because Sonia's brushes are always amazing. But I just prefer the finish that this goat squirrel blend gives over the Master Face if I had to choose between... And then the next brush is the B505, which is now known as the G505. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see this is an older Hakuhoto brush of mine. The logo wore off before I was able to get the um, vinyl to put over it, the vinyl polish. But this B505 truly is one of my all-time favorite Hakuhoto brushes. I love this brush. Beautiful diamond taper. We're definitely seeing a pattern here of my favorite shapes <laughs> and just a wonderful brush. I've used this with blush, bronzer. I really love it with bronzer. But what I like to actually mention is the G501 is truly the bigger version of the B505. Density is the same, shape is identical. It's just a smaller version. And of course, it's also similar to the G502. Very similar as well. But in my opinion, it has more of the shape of the G501 because the 501, it has that rounder shape. Very, very similar to the 505. And here they all are next to each other. And actually, if I can grab it... And here's the 507 next to these. So I just love that diamond taper. I feel like they're so useful um, in the way that I, I personally apply my makeup. 
So I just, I'm obsessed with that diamond taper, just beautiful. I know this is a brush loved by many and I'm definitely one of those people that loves it. <laughs> and then the next brush is the G5545. So this is 38 millimeters in length. And this brush is a lot more airy than the other brushes that I just showed. And to be quite honest with you, when I first got this brush, and I think I've mentioned either on my Instagram or on my YouTube before, I was almost bummed out by how sparse it looked. But when I washed it, it took on this perfect shape. And then when I used it with blush, I loved the application. It just hugs the cheeks so nice. And it just gives such a beautiful finish. I love it with my Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Just phenomenal. It was one of those brushes that really did surprise me. Um, and I'm going to compare it to the B505. So you can really see how much thicker the 505 is compared to the G5545. And yeah, they're the same exact length. So this one's just obviously got a lot less bristles packed in than the 505. But it's a wonderful blush. I underestimated that brush. <laughs> I really did. And then the next brush is the G6440. So this brush is 31 millimeters in length. Really nice brush for blush application. So you can use that buffing motion, stamp. Buffing is definitely best with these round brushes. It's really beautiful. And I'll compare it to the 6430. It's a mini version of the 6430. Really nice one. If you like round paddle shaped brushes, the 6440 is definitely for you. You would absolutely love that brush. I am more of like a paddle shape brush kind of girl, but I don't mind having it in my collection. I like the, the different shapes. They're good for different products and things like that. But the next one is the G5542. And again, mine's older inventory, not labeled, but this is 43 millimeters in length angled brush. You could of course use this with bronzer, powder, blush. This is actually one of my favorite Hakuhodo brushes I have in my entire collection. It has the perfect density. I do know they also have the G5544, I believe it is, and it doesn't have as much bristles packed in. I chose the one that has more bristles, but it still has beautiful movement on the skin. It's not too dense. I love this brush with bronzer. My favorite application to use with this brush. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Let's count how many times I say that in this video today. <laughs> and then the last one, but not least, is the B512. And this is 34 millimeters in length. And this is basically like a mini version of the G5542. This brush, wonderful with blush. I really, really like this with, with blush. And I'll compare it to the G5542. So it really is, it's like a mini version. So it's just nice having like this mix in so many shapes and so many dimensions to use for different applications. I just love this bristle mix so much. It really is such a treat to own these. Um, and I definitely want to try some of the new ones that have come out lately. I believe it's the, oh, I can't remember the numbering. I know I want to try the, um, the 110 version in this mix. That's going to be beautiful. So if I do end up picking some of those up, I'll definitely show them on my channel and then compare to other brushes I have in my collection. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I know it was a long one. Um, leave any questions you have down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.